Welcome to Food News Today. Do you prefer sweet or salty, or both? According to research from the Monell Chemical Census Center, kids who prefer high levels of sweet taste also prefer high levels of salt taste. And in general, children prefer sweeter and saltier taste than adults do. Now, these preferences relate not only to food intake, but also to measures of growth and can have important implications for efforts to change children's diets. The study, published online at PLOS1, tested 108 children between 5 and 10 years old and their moms for salt and sweet taste preferences. The same testing method was used for both kids and their moms who tasted broth and crackers that varied in salt content and sugar water and jellies that varied in sugar content. The study's lead author, Julie Manella, says, Our research shows that the liking of salty and sweet taste reflects in part the biology of the child. Growing children's heightened preferences for sweet and salty tastes make them more vulnerable to the modern diet, which differs from the diet of our past, when salt and sugars were once rare and expensive commodities. Scientists hope that such data can pave the way towards developing more insightful and informed strategies for promoting healthy eating that meets the particular needs of growing children. You exercise, you eat reasonably well, but you still haven't reached your ideal weight. Sound familiar? Well, maybe you're making some of these common diet destroyer mistakes that are listed at the Huffington Post. Eating in front of the TV leads to mindless munching. Who can focus on what you're eating and how much you're eating if you're too engrossed in your favorite drama? Make dinner time a no TV time. Turn off the box and pay attention to what's on the plate. Another mistake, not stocking up on food. You might think this makes sense, trying to lose weight, so buy less food? Well, in reality, an empty fridge forces you to wing it when you're hungry, and that can lead to bad decisions. It's much better to have a fridge full of healthy ingredients and snacks so you're prepared at any time. Next, thinking salad is safe. Sure, choosing the salad sounds better than the burger and fries, but don't forget, a salad can go from super healthy to a calorie nightmare based on the dressing alone. If you're eating out, always get dressing on the side and just use one tablespoon. If you have the option, your best bet is a little olive oil and balsamic or red wine vinegar instead. And finally, remember appetizers add up. When it comes to finger foods and hors d'oeuvres, they may be small, but that doesn't mean that they're not packed with tons of calories. Now, if you're headed to a party, have a little healthy snack before you go so you're not starving and try to stick to eating just one of each item. Finally, here's some latest news from the world of sweet treats. If you thought that the cronut was the greatest invention ever, watch out. Famed pastry chef Dominique Ancel seems to have outdone his popular combination of a croissant and a donut with, get this, chocolate chip cookie milk shots. He posted a picture recently on this Instagram account that had foodies everywhere salivating. A uniquely yummy take on cookies and milk, everyone's favorite combo. So I know what you're wondering. Where can I buy them? Well, unfortunately, these were just for the folks at the South by Southwest Festival in Austin. But with the attention they've received, it's possible that we may see them very soon. That's all from me. Please check out supermarketguru.com. Send us a message on Facebook and Twitter. Food News Today is sponsored by ConAgra Foods, who shares with me the desire to provide the most current, interesting, and unbiased food news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.